Which hobby makes a guy undateable? Pokemon. Welcome back, beautiful people. It's time for Garganical. The people have been asking for the champion to return. I'm tired of the nonsense. It's Garg time, ladies and gentlemen. And what, what do we mean by Garg time if you're a new user? Garganical is all reliable, man. Uh, usually, what is this? Forgive me. Okay. Usually I don't whip out Garganical until I'm really like playing for seriously because it, 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 it's, he, he's just a no nonsense kind of guy. That's all I'll say about that. And so because of that, it's a little, I'm going to use the word cheap, but <laughs> sometimes it can feel a little cheap when I Garganical people. And so I avoid it unless I'm going for number one. And I think all the times we went for number one, it was like guard to the top. And so um, it's the low key, the second mascot of the channel, the hidden mascot behind the curtain. And so we're going to take it. It's been a while since I've used it, but every time we use it, it's nothing but success. So Primarino guard looking very good here. If I had to assess this, I'd say one of those two um, will prevail. Dragonite has potential. Um, but yeah, one of those two will prevail here. Let's see what can I guard against? I don't guard. Raging Bolt, Arena, Scizor. My Moltres beats almost everything. I, see. I wonder what the Dragapult's gonna do. What I'm gonna do is go Primarina here. Um, probably should have accounted for the Raging Bolt to be honest. It's something that, to be fair, I think. I, it's too risky not to T-Bolt or Volt Switch. When I thought about it just now, I was like, it's actually too risky not to. Primarina tends to be Assault Vest or Choice Specs. And so if you Draco or do a Dragon move and that's not the case in this case, then you're in a bind, right? And so uh, Phase 1 has been set up for my Dragapult. Uh, it's Choice Specs Raging Bolt, which is great. The flip turn doesn't matter. Uh, as I said, it's a little gambly to raging bolt especially if i sub here well my premier is too important of a mon you can see it literally with a substitute can um destroy his team I'm, i'd be shocked if he were to uh, but if he were to draco meteor and i'm thinking what my good mid ground is draco doesn't have a mid ground um and he's confirmed that i'm leftovers so we're still gonna go Tusk. If he Dracos, I can afford to lose it. But that's what I'm saying, like, we'll just head long rush here. It doesn't really matter what he does. Um, we've confirmed Rocky Helmet on the Mola. And so the Mola likes to go for flip turns around these pots. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. I prefer to not have the Raging Bolt matchup again. <clears throat> So, hmm. my Raging Bolt's actually really good too. I was gonna say because of Ting Lu, I could, you know, have a Raging Bolt off, force his Ting Lu in. Hmm. My Primarina is legit. So let him flip turn. Uh, he scalds. Oh, thank you for not getting beam though. What? This allows for me to substitute. This is a great position. Um, because he's very, very susceptible to the prim. Um particularly if he goes for a flip turn here. Yeah. Very, very prim susceptible. Um, because psychic noise dis flip punch choice band BP maybe. Yeah, how much this does. 34%. Mm. This is too problematic for him not to. I could hard switch it, you know, you wouldn't assume, you know, it might be bad and I can't risk him doing that kind of damage to me. Um, Mola makes a lot of sense. And back to Primarina we go to rinse and repeat this process as the Astro Raging Bolt. I'm surprised by that. Mm. 
considering you know if i moon blast directly he's in a bind so he will switches i'm debating whether or not it's better to um draining kiss because the raging bolt is the really the only thing i need gone for my garganical to sweep so like everything is is going according to plan uh so we'll sub in, since he's gonna vault switch i was debating whether or not the damage matters here um they asked for ting lu psychic noise stops we'll, we'll get some some damage here and get some health back so we can come back and do this again because he's gonna whirlwind and ideally we can get something lovely garganical is lovely here i love that i love it love it amazing amazing love it um and so now mm, we go a couple different routes with this um iron defense is best as the great tusk comes in the great tusk is a non-factor mm, i let him spin i suppose i have to i'll just ko one of his mons here or really his entire team gonna force the raging bolt in um okay fair enough let him rapid spin there we'll take the great tusk health i will salt cure again as the raging bolt comes in and the great tusk is too important to risk um so what i end up doing here is terra fairy recover yeah Mm-hmm. and now he's in a bind because the raging bolt took too much damage and the mola is faster than me I can body press and salt cure infinitely and he can't flip turn into the, the raging bolt he has to go dragon bolt if he goes raging bolt that's great so i can just body press perfect and that's game yeah organical man organical man is that man uh, i'll take damn near nothing from bp yeah organical bro i'm sorry like y'all low ladder dudes are dangerous man and using ball to wall offense it gives y'all a lot of wiggle room so i was like i don't want to bring i've had this nasty looking balance team tuck for a while and i'm like man i'm not trying to use that until i'm serious uh because again garg is super no nonsense super no nonsense now i still needed to get my metagame knowledge to a certain point and we're still doing that for the most part but again because i'm telling you it does not play the games it does not play the games so and this is a, a really excellent opportunity to display that uh but the fucking moth is a bitch so it's not an easy matchup truth be told i <clears throat> my dragonite could clap but he has just the right amount of pesky minds to give me a hard time um he has just the right amount of pesky minds. So for my guard to keep its Terra Rock, I think the Terra, I'm not Terra Rock, staying Rock type might be the best bet here. Um, by Terra Fairy, it opens, uh, I guess if I get rocks up, I can, the Moth is just annoying for me to do it offensively. That's just the thing about it. So, if I do assess this, he guards really badly against Raging Bolts, Draco Meteor. Um, I mean, Dragon Pulse. Uh, Moltres' core purpose is really the Gambit and the, the Enamorous. It's not that. I guess three. Enamorous, remember? And then um, um, Iron Moth could run potential uh, HP ground. I mean, HP ground, Terra ground. So Garg isn't completely safe versus that matchup. So I'm not going to lean too heavily into that. Um, but Garg would be nice for that primarily, and it can potentially sweep. That water thing is a bitch. I don't really have much for that directly. And that's something that I'm looking at now. And I'm like, oh shit. Ogre Pond water is... Like... It's a fucking problem. Um, so Kirim would be the biggest issue on lead. Hmm. I think I might have to tear on my fucking uh, raging ball. I'm taking so long, it's just I can't. This is a. I need to change something to deal with Ogre Pond. 
Urban it's too big of an issue as I'm looking at this now. And it's too common on mine. Hmm. Okay. Ah, I got a rage and hold. This it's the only way I'm dealing with this beast. Um very well then. I'll dragon pulse directly. Uh, Enamorous could be a decent mid ground play rough. Okay. I'm glad I got this damage because that means Garganical. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I got this damage. So I'm willing to sack my Raging Bow here. I'm just going to Dragon Pulse again. If he does play rough, so be it. Uh, uh, am I willing to? Actually, that doesn't make any fucking sense. What am I talking about? Underclapping here. I could have destroyed his, Graging, his Great Tusk. But when I was thinking about it, I'm like, I have a fucking Moltres. Who gives a fuck? Is a damn. Um, the Kyurem is a little too annoying. Finally, we forced the Moth out, which is a big deal. Um, mm, is it worth the Great Tusk yet? Great Tusk. Drag Dragonite. If I lure out his Great Tusk, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I hit the Great Tusk there, I'm pretty sure I just swept him with D Knight later on. But that's that was me going into autopilot knowing what the opponent's gonna do versus making the objective best play when I don't even need to do it. Right. Um But yeah, that would be a dead great tusk, I'm pretty sure, with the plus one. Hmm. Uh, I wanna lure this iron moth to stay in. I just don't know what he'd do. I spin Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't know they ran psychic. Okay. <laughs> Great Tusk lived on 1%. That's a crucial survival. That's a crucial, crucial, crucial survival. Uh, I might have to play with Rocks Up, which isn't a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Um, Moth being gone is huge for my Terra Fairy Guard. Now Terra Fairy Guard can really, really, really go Hamilton in this bitch. Um... Raging Bolt being kept is way more important than keeping the Great Tusk, so um, should just cudgel directly. Yeah. Um, maybe cudgel play rough. I, mean, I guess he could have U turn. It's possible. Uh, Moltres would live cudgel, but Moltres literally, once this dies, um, Moltres could potentially destroy his team by itself. Um, Kyurem is a problem. I spin the objective better play here. Not if he does something like U turn. If this dies, my Moltres is fucking set for life. So, does it really matter? I'm gonna extreme speed. It would do a ice spinner directly would do a little more to great tusk but if this guy is fearing a dragon dance some kind of you know what i mean i i don't know i don't want to give up my scale when in order to win it's not necessary uh, particularly if he's fearing my uh, raging bolt going a little crazy here yeah i'm very curum he i'm very curum and i'm very um ogre pawn weak so i may have to modify something on this to uh, maybe even take the Raging Bolt off. Ogre Pawn and Kyurem. What could we put on here instead? Ogre Pawn and Kyurem. I'll help with that. Ogre Pawn and Kyurem. So there's the Tusk as expected. It is Helmet. Um, so I suppose it doesn't really matter as much anymore. Uh, very likely to see a double switch out here into Ogre Pawn. Hmm. Weighing my risk versus reward on that. Mm. I'm really tempted to just go for an ice spinner here. Mm. Let's say we're just saying an ice spinner. The Moltres play is too risky. Yeah. 
pretty sure he's gonna switch out. Oh, okay. Then don't get a flame body burn. Bullshit. This is bullshit, I tell you. As uh fucking dealing with this Kirim now. Um it's flamethrower better versus Kirim. It's not better to have the uh, If it's spec skill. Those enamors, I don't get this. I don't get the enamors play at all. So what I'll do is go Garg, then pivot back to um, Moltres. Uh, Garg is gonna lure in, um, lure out an Earth power from it, era potentially. Yeah, which gives me the positional advantage I want. Um, so here's the Kyrum. I guess couldn't have been avoided, right? Um, damage on this Kyrum will help my Dragonite later on. I guess some kind of freeze dry coming out here. Enamorous comes out just fine. Because I get to mid ground Moltres. Moltres coverage for both Thunderclap and the Great Tusk Switch. So it's just the best all round position. Um, if I Thunderclap and he goes Great Tusk. Uh, okay. Well, Kirim was like actually a decent play. Yeah, Kirim made sense. So if he had to double out his Kirim, I'd assume the Kirim is. Why would you have to double there? The Kira must be something that he doesn't want for Marina to deal with. But like every Kira has fucking um, freeze dry. It is Dragon Dance. Okay. That's why. Okay then. So. Scale shot. The scale shot makes sense. Dragon Dance is actually really good news. That means my guard pretty much in solo now. I'm not gonna ice because so I'm not gonna go um so that means this this my Moltres can destroy every member on his team now. Uh and I have extreme speed potential. I can drain and kiss here. I don't know what these run the dragon dance, but I mean we can do other than that. Okay, so it's not spec secure, which is good to know. That makes a big difference. So at this point. I don't want to, I don't want to position guard versus a potential specs and amorous, but at this point, my Moltres, uh, rocks would make a really big difference because that fucking ogre pond's a bitch, but, um, so Terra ghost, Terra blast, hex, uh, it's no bueno, but I forced the Terra, which is good. Terra blast, hex, Terra ghost. That's no bueno. Roll. No. Terra blast goes icicles here. Hmm. Just don't know how much this shit is gonna do to me. And I uh, need guard to be healthy. We actually don't have more trace. If this does more than I expect, mm, it does more than I expect. I've lost. Okay. That's going to be a useful, useful information for, uh, he got a crit on one of them. I don't know if that mattered. No, I don't think so. So my play here was to go Molly and mm, Terra Ghost, Terra Blast. I'll keep that in mind for later. Yeah, Garg was supposed to, I'm curious how much this does to see if that was the play. Oh, so Moltres eight, I threw, I threw then, Moltres eight. Oh shit, I thought Moltres would not have lived that. Oh fuck, so Garg could have Terra Ferried and swept. So yeah, I threw that, um, good to know though. Uh. I guess I could technically not. Yeah, you know, see, I would lose. Can't extreme speed it. Even if I dragon dance. Let's try. Oh, my multi scale doesn't matter in this case. Yeah, it does too much. I figured. Uh, but um, 
There are ghost cure and physical. So Moltres is bulkier than I thought. Um, hmm. That was a loss that was avoidable. Um, I accounted for too many things at one time, but that's partly due to the nature of this team. Um, I don't think two Raging Bolt, um, what's not Raging Bolt, um, what's his face? Ogre Pun and Kirim are too offensively problematic. Like it gives me too much to think about. So I'm thinking what would I necessarily have to cover both Kirim and Ogre Pond, but um, because the team is slower as well, I have nothing to even outspeed the pawn. So that's something that I want to consider. Hmm. Be Zamazenta. Zamazenta over Raging Bolt. Zamazenta doesn't really cure the Curum issue. Doesn't even fix the Overpawn issue, truth be told. Not completely, but I think it's a little better fit than Raging Bolt here. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna use Zamazenta. So yeah, uh, avoidable loss there. And. Moltres is good for one, two. I've seen this run Terrifier before, so that's not even for sure. Uh, three, actually four. Organical Iron Defense piece, one, two, three. Kind of four, depending on what the set on this is. These two are annoying. So rocks are gonna go a long way with that. Dragonite, very lethal. My calm landing from Marina is very problematic. I think it's six all I'm on. And my um, raging bolt can't be guarded against. So. Am I willing to strength? So I think no matter what matchup it is, Great Tusk is best. I saw a psychic variant. This could be a. Terra Ground variant. Do I risk my Great Tusk here? Hmm. So many variables here. Do I risk my Great Tusk? If that fucking if I if he can one shot me, it causes a lot of problems. What would he knock me out with? We'll go guard and see what happens. This idiot was gonna fire dance. Okay. This okay. And I wanted to stay in there, but um, this might be terror ground. If it is, so be it. I won't die, but it definitely makes things a little trickier. It is terror ground. Mm, okay. Oh, at least he terrestrialized. Man. <laughs> this fucking. Oh, God. God, what? It's just killing me sometimes, man. Oh man, oh man. So Dragonite has to come out earlier than I expected, so be it. <sighs> nothing, nothing, nothing irks me like poor decisions be paying off. Uh, is he Stone Edge Great Tusk? Bolts, good. Uh, that's all what his primarina is. Be worth me hailing his agapole. He's leaving this in for one, but uh, be worth me. He's willing to play speed tie games. If I kill this, if I terror and kill this. Do I need my Terra for anything else? If this dies, then... Then, um... What's the core thing? Ultras for sure. Does this matter enough to where I'm gonna Terra? Alternative is to what exactly? Anyway. 
don't know. This guy? Oh, he's 1601. I don't know why I thought I saw 17 something. It makes more sense. So, the health on this matters. Um, the range of health I'm at is really important. Maybe wood hammer. I'll get a burn for once. No? So Primarina comes in here, um, within the, the grassy terrain, my Primarina is fine, plus, um, you should water stab, okay, it's specs, which is useful to note, so we just substitute here, cover for Rillaboom, Drainicus, terrain might wear off depending on what he is. So, at this point, I just have to keep my Primarina at the utmost of health. I'll wait until this fucking other boom gets burnt. I'll burn his Primarina the next time it comes in. It's specs, so it's a little problematic. Drastic Glides. It's not, um, it's not terrain. Very tempted to sub here, but I'll make the right play. Yeah. Neutral play. Ah, uh, Moonblast makes sense. Primarina is too important though. I'm willing to average and both take the damage. Specs <clears throat> mm -hmm. glass. Right. Yep. Yeah, we will always appear. Marina comes in, we get it off, and we'll just give up raging ball. Actually, shouldn't have even there's no way he was faster. I was gonna say I shouldn't even risk that, but there is no way he was faster than me. Raging bolt. Yeah, Primarina is too important. So I Moonblast locks, which is a big mistake. Now this allows for me to just flamethrower spam. Now we U-turn. Surprised he went for rocks to sack Great Tusk. Makes sense to do so. Now we get to get rocks up. Ice Spinner, Rapid Spin. So we're speed tying, which is fine. Um, rapid Spin, yeah, yeah. Tusk is gone, and I get to get rocks up to put that Primarina in the dirt. We can sack Tusk if we need to. This freaking great, this freaking Rillaboom refuses to get burnt, bro. Am I flame body? <laughs> can you blame me for checking? Can you blame a guy for checking? I. Um. What? That would clean this game up for sure. I could go real. I could go Great Tusk and Headlong Rush directly. Or just give his Halucha a free switch, which increases the variance in this game, which I'm not trying to do because now I have to hit Willow Wisp and it could be sub. We ran into Encore. Not really trying to deal with any of that. So what I could do. I could go Great Tusk and if I go Primary and he Moon Blast Locks. I could go Great Tusk and Ice Spinner directly. Over for everything, yeah. Ice Spinner directly if he knocks. Forces him to attack my tusk. Oh, no, Molly is flamethrowers and he can't get the boost anymore. Yeah. And so Primarina, if it water move locks, gets ravaged by a Dragonite. So here, I guess it doesn't really matter what I do, right? I, uh, if he moon blasts. On my, let me see if he move if he serves and knocks out my Moltres, I go Dragonite. Dragonite can only lose to Moonblast, so mm, that can risk me getting crit. Um, I don't think how can I win this in a way where so if I go Primarina here and he Moonblast, I can't go back to Moltres after that. So it gives a bit more. If I go to Dragonite and he Moonblasts, I'd go Moltres and Roost and then he'd go back to Marina and that doesn't serve me. Um, no, 
matter what uh, I could have left my Moltres in but actually no no my Moltres is faster what am I saying Moltres is faster than um Moltres is faster than his prim so it doesn't matter I can just roost all yeah, unless I got crit there, but I just forgot that I was faster. So I can burn stall. What am I talking about? Yeah, that was always the best play. You just threw stall. He has the special attack drop. But now at this point, it doesn't make a difference. I just give up my Primarina, um, bring my Dragonite in, and uh, extreme speed, extreme speed, extreme speed. Uh, this was a more annoying game than I think it needed to be. Knock off. Team speed. The KO, as far as I KO. Um, yeah. Gotta, let me see what time it is. I have some time. I gotta, um, pick up my mom at 6, 5.30 right now. So... You know, I've been giving y'all the long lives lately, and so I'm like, okay, do I have time for a long life? We just may have 30 minutes. So, Moltres, Moltres, and Moltres, potentially Moltres. Get rid of these two. Or Garganico, 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 get rid of this. Like Garg more. Get rid of these. Well, really, this. These don't run Sledge Wave. Get rid of the gold, gold angle. Or I could go Primarina, 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 and I have to get rid of anybody and just sweep. So, uh, well, Garg will keep it tucked in this game. Um, because really, if he mindlessly Glamoras, that's fine. Uh, what to expect from... Bebombe. Bebombe. I do not want to play Stun Spore games with Rebombe. Actually, best to Garg spam here. Oh, he actually, um, Glamoras. I didn't expect Glamora. That's a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. Primarily because he has a rapid spinner. Um, I don't need Glamora gone. If he were to... I'm actually going to go hard Dina here. If he rocks, he rocks. Meteor Beam. And that one shot me. Wow. I didn't expect that. That worked out for him. I'm surprised he went this route then. If he was, uh, if he wasn't Sash, he must have been planning to, um, hmm. so that's a little bit, that's kind of a deal, a little bit of a big deal, it's not, but it is, uh, I had long rush here, Golden Guy, uh, since it's not Sash, the Rubambi Sash matters a little bit, um, but he asked for going Rubambi directly. Yeah. Huh. Okay, meteor beam. One shot my dragon. Oh, multiple. And I just need certain conditions met. Super Marina is really good. So that means this might have Sludge Wave then. See what I'm talking about? You just never fucking know with these weirdos, Brody. Brothers. Uh, the sticky web doesn't really matter that much in this matchup. Uh, it's more important for me to not be super low. So if I Moonblast him and he. If he moon blasts and I, um, I fucking move call and I go for it, you know that move. Now what's what's tricky is that now his Glamora is a problem. What the upside is that he doesn't guard well against my. Um, they asked for the sticky web, which I'm grateful for. Fortunately, um, I'm still at a decent enough range to where. If I was Terra Water Guard, Terra Water Guard. But I really don't know what to expect here. Um, maybe Earth Power or something? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go hard to us. Tuss job is literally. Why? Okay, I'll take it. Maybe I should have spun there. Perhaps I should have rapid spun there. What is this gonna do? If you Draco Meteors, I'm in a bind, so I can't risk that. Hmm. Yeah. That was a misplay. I should have wrapped this one there. Again, if that's like the one thing dealing with my guard. Because right now, my Glamour is really good. I mean, my Moltres is really dangerous. 
but I just made my Primarina less good. And my Primarina is so good. So, so good. I cannot risk Garg into a Draco Meteor here. I also don't want to risk a Shadow Ball into my Primarina. Probably never spin. <laughs> if he Draco Meteors, then I'm in the blind. Okay. I cannot risk the Garganical. It's too good. Alright. I'll just sack this. Hydro Pump. See what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about, guys? He's definitely choice if he fucking Hydro Pump. Hmm. I'm gonna go on the offensive here. We get to oh this shit is not choiced. Uh, I didn't risk the game or anything. I haven't lost, but I I definitely made this harder for myself. Did your pump non choice right? Okay, so now I know. It's a very strange team. Very strange situation. Okay, I'll take that. Golden Go likely comes in, but if Golden Go gets clapped. Then, um, Goldengo gets clapped. Um, my guard is in really good spot, space, a really good position. Um, training to 16%. What do you, yeah, he sacks it. Oh, how did that KO me? You get a, I got a fucking spadef drop. Ah, uh, that might, that might be it for me then. Shit, he got a spadef drop. Mmm. Shit. He didn't get a spadef drop there, I think. This was a game that was very winnable. Um, definitely could have played better on the pulp. So my concern here is whether or not I... I have to get this turn right. Because I have two water weeks. Okay, I got it right. All right, I needed to get that right. Hydro pump, twenty six percent. I saw a cure again. No, I recover. If he goes golden, go. So be it. He doesn't know what kind of garg I am. The reason that's that was a really risky play. It was a very risky play, but it paid off. But now I don't have to predict. I literally just go back and forth between Moltres and Garg, and I think I'm back in this game. Because there's no double he can make on my Garg that my Moltres can't cover. Come on, bro. Don't do this. Don't fucking do this. Don't fucking do this. All right. All right. Mm. It's worth being at the maximal health. Oh, perfect. He thought he's gonna hard switch out. No. But in case he stays in, oh my fucking Garganical the No Nonsense Maestro. Garganical the No Nonsense Maestro. Oh shit. I forgot he didn't Terra. And he's faster than me. No! Actually, nah, I lost. He never showed Make It Rain, so he's not Make It Rain. But he's faster than my Moltres. Okay. So, a, a, a winnable game. Uh, very winnable game. That I, I just did not play to the best of its best. Dazzling Gleam, maybe? Yeah. It's doing too much. So, yeah. That was, that was a very useful game. Very, very useful game. And we're going to be using this team. We're going to change the... Actually, I forgot to change the Raging Bolt. Um, but, uh, I'm actually really, really happy with the results of these games. This team is going to take us quite a, quite a way. I can already tell because none of the losses we've had so far have been losses where it's like, oh, we couldn't win. There's been things that we didn't see coming. It caught us and we should have, well, we're going to next, next game. It won't catch us obviously, but you know, that kind of thing. So. I'm gonna put Zamazenta on here and I'll be back.
Alright guys, man, uh, I only have 15 minutes left of recording time, so uh, this might not be as long as the rest, or I may just come back and record again, we'll see. But uh, you know what, I might do, I might just split this one, likely gonna get another live tomorrow. I like this team, we're gonna go a long way with this one. I don't know if I'll decide to take it all the way. Um, but I know when... I know when losses are due to things that are controlled and ones that aren't. Uh, and so this is this is exciting. This is exciting. Garganicals back. Another Garganical global game. I think this game runs spore, so. so Moltres, Moltres, Moltres. Hmm. Dark smashes. We're gonna do some experimentation. Uh, Zamozenta's iron defense also destroys. Um, Marine is nice. Uh, I sense Rotom shenanigans here. Rotom is something you never see, but it's actually a bitch in this matchup. Um, I guess that's a genuine problem. Okay, very well. Okay, Dark Ride, interesting. Dark Ride, dude. Hit button, use focus blast. Oh, this shit focus blasted. And it hit. Hmm. A term I guard them. Hmm. I mean, I already intended, I already intended to tear the guard, so it's not that big a deal, but. Okay. Even dark pulsing here. Ideally, he doesn't get the you know what. Thankfully, he doesn't get the you know what, uh. But now, I must fear the, uh, the bomb of the sludge. I've unveiled my terror, which isn't usually ideal, but, uh... Yeah. Come on, you fucking... Man. Now he has to hit Focus Blast again. Or he could have Ice Beam. I guess this could be 3 attack. Am I willing to give up Tusk? Not exactly, but... Rocky Helmet isn't amazing, but it's not bad either. Um, not bad either. I never be get I started to wonder if I was actually fucking... Uh, the poisoning is annoying, but... Yeah. What are you gonna do? At least I gotta burn back for my troubles. Good all here. Um, but for the long run... We need this guard to be at the utmost of health. Um, give me one sec. But yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at my phone. That you mean <laughs> doing too much shit at the same damn time? Uh, what the fuck is this? Among Us. Why do I want to get sludge bombed? Like, what the fuck is happening right now? Actually, kind of threatening. The specs. Who uses Among Us post? Uh, you really want my rocks because my Zamazenta is really good. <laughs> talked about some of Zenta now he sludge bombs. Fortunately he didn't get the you know what, which is all that matters. Probably gonna face enamorous here, but yeah, I have to do what I have to do. Oh okay. Here comes the enamorous. We may do something else like go great tusk. Or stay. Very interesting. Giving me a lot of leeway. If his enamorous is, if his enam yeah, enamorous still probably doesn't get two shots. I don't know the role on this. Uh, if he's not careful, wow, look at our Zamazenta um, decision paying off immediately. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. 
Yeah. How did he live that? What? Is there a special uh, Zamazenta um, spread that the kids are running? Of course, I'm not going to just leave this beast in. It wins. This is literally the only thing in my way. Uh, red card. Also, my Primarine is... So when I get rocks up, Rotom Wash. Pretty sure I do. Probably shouldn't risk this. Could be a fast Rotom. No way he's fast if he fucking took. If he survived that body press. At plus fucking four. This shit is gone. Okay, Sax Tusk. You probably expected a U turn. But, um. Yeah, this team is going to be a lot of fun, gents. I can already tell. Uh, and right now, Dragonite just Dragon Ants is in prevails. Uh, I link to you, Turner. You're probably faster than me. Oh, you're fine. Primary. Psychic Noise, it doesn't really make a difference in this matchup, unfortunately. Because if it's a Moongus, if I had uh, my Terra in hand still, oh yeah, no problem. Magma Storm actually did nothing. It's the residuals and the rocks, damn near, uh, did way more than the fucking Magma Storm. I could Calm Mind, but it's still gonna break myself, I'm pretty sure. So, there's no point. Man, I, you know when you have a. I'm really enjoying Mons again. And I hope you guys, I hope. A lot of guys have been getting back into Mons because of these lives, and so I'm happy to see that and the community posts. Um, particularly the one today. Well, not like they got back because of the one today, but the one today was very dear to me. Very, very real, you know? I want rock. Oh, you're real not. I will not. Eteria, or anything. Ugh, the tusks should be so. Hmm. The pesky fucking mine. Like, why are you doing work right? What? You think you are? Poison on Dark Cry is gonna cost me. Okay, we're not gonna get rocks this game. Fair enough. So be it. Or maybe I can live with just enough. Oh, is that enough? No. Fuck. Uh Heatran is a problem as well. Uh, stun spore. I thought I'm sludge fucking poison weak. Like this is ridiculous. Uh I gotta force this thing out. I gotta force this thing out. If he doesn't switch, I'll go garg. Well, I gotta force this thing out. It's too problematic. I knew you'd leave it in. Um, um, I knew you'd do some stupid shit like you just did. But push come to shove, I'll recover spam. Um and remove this Among Us from existence. Uh, so Rotom Wash comes in. Pain split, huh? Did I suspect something dastardly like that? So I'll cure again. <clears throat> Thou should outspeed this Among Us coming in. That's really what's important. Yeah. And so. Um, If he leaves the Among Us in, if he goes to the Rotom Wash, I'm fine. Pain split. Hmm. 
think. Talk here plus. And no, he could paint split again. Ugh, what a pain, I figured as much. The road I'm getting back healthy without rocks. I need to actually take this a bit more seriously. Because <clears throat> he definitely could give me some trouble with what he has remaining. Um. This is a really important turn. Now he goes um, Rotom Wash or he leaves this in. Uh, a wild play would be to go neither of them, but I think no matter what he. Okay, it gives me the fucking Among Us. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he. If I recovered that turn, so now I can't recover the guard, but I'm. Guard isn't winning this game. Um. So it's not really about Garganically here. My Dragonite Sway has been paid, but he won't Terra. Pest won't terra, terrestrialize, I command you. He's gonna just Volt Switch, fair enough. Have my Garganical. You've, you've done the, you've done the work. I want the positional advantage here anyway. Right now, Moltres can smash everything except that fucking Heatran. And what's beautiful is if he goes to Heatran and Primarina comes in, he's probably gonna go to the Darkrai, which is also good, because I can just extreme speed it. Enamorous is great. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go to my Dragonite and Ice Spinner this shit. Directly. Because this is the one thing my Zenta scare fears. My, Venta, my Zenta fears no man. But this Enamorous it does fear. So I'm willing to lure this thing out. Extreme speed clobbers. Uh, and so terrestrialization is underway because we're gonna go Heatran and terrestrialization. Terrestrialization is on the way! How much time do I have left? I have to do this game, so great time. Timing, this is too important. I'm not willing to risk this. Especially because Primus is, is this Terra Fairy. Okay. Alright, I'm willing to drain and spam. It's faster than me. Let's see how much draining does. Oh, zero. Duh. Oh, that might have lost me. Drink is okay. Hmm, Terra Fairy is something I didn't account for. This could be a problem. Hmm. Terra Fairy is something because he didn't lose his Flash Fire ability. Terra Fairy is something I did not account for. How much is Rotom at? Rotom is healthy enough to wear Moltres. Bro, very. Huh? What could I have done about that? I don't know why I just had in my mind it was Terra Grass. That's the only heat trend I've ever seen. This is actually. Ah, uh, am I about to lose to this? The body presses just aren't going to be doing enough. He hits, he hits. Taunts. Okay. I'm actually really happy to see Taunt. Um, I don't think it will make a ton of difference unless he misses this one. He hits. Oh, please, Emma, live. Yes. That's a really big survival there. Oh, you fucker. You motherfucker. No, you dirty motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, the Citrion destroys me. Now he needs to get super like if he doesn't hit his all his fucking magma storms, then I'm in. And he missed a magma storm. I'm not even gonna bank on the miss. But I think I have to bank on the miss and dragon dance this first turn. Or hope he taunts. Okay, it's the magma. Now he protects in this game. So that's this is actually also useful. Terra Fairy Tran. Oh, 
Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. That's crazy. But the magma play was his best play. That was an undeserved win though. Um undeserved win. The opponent hitting that many magma storms is crazy, but the opponent did what he needed to do to prevail. And Moltres literally cannot touch Tran. So if I had a different move. Is it worth running a flying move on this Moltres? So our luck paid us back from other times and we got um, lucked. But yeah, we get to keep the one. But I'm really pumped. I'm probably going to do another live tomorrow, another long live. It didn't really move. We got a few points here, but that's not what was important here. Getting the swing of things is, yeah. Brace yourselves, my friends. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.